Three minutes. Carla, um, Minister, to mishandle one case might be regarded as unfortunate. To mishandle two might look like carelessness. But to mishandle five, six, seven different serious scenarios really means it's time for you to go. Now, your attempt to normalise the latest uh, crisis yet again as no big deal has a shamefully familiar ring to it. And the question really here is when is the government going to realise that we have a crisis of policing in this state? And your reactionary response to say now that you're going to set up an independent guard authority when Deputy Wallace moved such legislation last year, last year and ye laughed it out of court is simply not a genuine attempt at reform. Now you you said that the reason why this information is being put, acted upon now is that very serious information was likely to come into the public domain regarding a horrendous miscarriage of justice and fitting up of two citizens. Now that is obviously very serious and I would say sadly all too familiar because we've had the misfortune to listen to many such cases of people who've been wrongly treated at the hands of some members of Angarda Siakana. But it is also appalling that the recordings themselves were made. Now, it's not possible for us to deal with that in detail, with the breaches of privacy and so on because of it. But the issue here is your brazenness, is your barefaced denial, and that the government's serious mistake in continuing to back you up. It is not credible that you didn't know. On the 21st of May last year, you stood up here and you told us that the commissioner had a duty to tell you about Mick Wallace's non-event, a duty to tell you, and yet you're saying he didn't have a duty to tell you about this one, and you don't have a problem with that? You stood up in front of this house, you berated GSOC for not telling you about the bugging, you listed every piece of legislation you could. Here you spend paragraphs telling us that they didn't have to tell you, and you don't have a problem with that. So you either don't realise how serious this issue is, or you're covering up. Either way, your position here is not credible. We are presiding over a dysfunctional police force here. It is undermining the confidence of the decent Gardaí who are there. It's undermining the confidence of the citizens. And that's why the Garda Commissioner had no alternative but to, to, but to resign, because he hadn't got that. When is the penny going to drop with you that you have to do the same? These aren't isolated incidents. This is a systemic problem now. None of the mechanisms put in place after the Morris Tribunal have worked. We need a root and branch review. But unfortunately, you can't do that if those at the top are contaminating the process. And I have to say, Minister, you have contaminated that beyond its sell-by date at Thank this stage.